The Julia Sears is in Kibera, a stronghold of his in the capital. Julia, I believe uh, some polling stations reportedly haven't opened in some areas. Slight tension in uh, the streets around where you are. What more can you tell us? Indeed, tensions here in Nairobi's Kibera slum are certainly increasing. We're here outside a polling station three hours after it was meant to open, and it is still not opened. There are police uh, surrounding the polling station, and they're engaged in a sort of cat and mouse uh, situation with some protesters, with some opposition supporters who were attempting to prevent people from getting to the polls. So there's uh, quite a fair amount of tear gas being used by the police here outside the polling station in order to push these uh, opposition supporters back into the slum of Kibera. So certainly here in this opposition stronghold, there is tension that is expected to increase throughout the day. And there's really no sign of this polling station opening anytime soon. And this is a polling station where we saw huge lines throughout the day in the August 8th election. Uh, and meanwhile, Julia, you've just come from uh, another neighborhood in the city and their polling stations were open. Uh, things were going smoothly? Exactly. Things were going smoothly elsewhere here in the capital of Nairobi. It definitely is a situation where the tension is quite contained to opposition strongholds. That said, at the polling station that we just came from, voter turnout was particularly low. There were only about 30 voters when we were there two hours into the polls being open, and that's out of a registered 700 voters. So uh, while there is not tension widely across Nairobi, we're certainly not seeing the long lines that we saw in August uh, when the election had quite a high voter turnout. And of course, as you mentioned, that vote in August annulled uh, because of irregularities. This time, the cries of foul play have been very loud even before polling began. We're likely are we not to see more legal challenges to the winner of this vote? Exactly. We certainly are. And Ryla Odinga yesterday in his speech to supporters here in Nairobi said today the fight is just beginning again, that he will continue to contest this election, that he will continue to fight what he's calling injustices of democracy uh, for the weeks to come. So he's definitely regrouping. He will call on his supporters to continue to turn out into the streets to support him in this. And we're likely to see him back in court. So the Supreme Court yesterday was unable to make a decision uh, on this petition from the Electoral Commission to delay the election in order to allow for more reform. So already from legal advocates here, we're hearing that there are many issues going into the election that could be used by Odinga and by others to contest today's result. OK, Julia, we'll no doubt be checking in with you throughout today to see how that voting progresses. But for now, thanks indeed, Julia.